Hey everybody, Home Slice Henry here, and in today's video, we have some more spice for you guys in the Go Battle League. We are taking a look at Kabutops, and the first set is going to be featuring Kabutops in the Kanto Cup, and the next couple sets are going to be featuring Kabutops in the Open Great League. A big thank you to the trainer, All Right X Rai Rai, for submitting these battles, and they requested that a shout out be given to their local Pokemon Go community in Tampa. So a big thank you to this trainer for submitting these battles. And as I mentioned, the first set that we are going to be taking a look at is going to be in the Kanto Cup. And this team features Kabutops on the lead with a Shadow Snorlax and a Kanto Ninetales. All right, we're hopping into the first game here. Kabutops versus Alolan Muck. This is, a, this is an okay lead because Stone Edge is going to hit very, very hard. So we're probably going to be seeing a shield come up on the side of the Alolan Muck. Yep, shield does come up here, and the Alolan Muck should be at two charge moves, so they're probably going to go for the back-to-back -back Dark Pulse. He's going to shield up the first one, and a bit of go battle lag, but able to get a mud shot through. This is probably going to KO Kabutops' Glassy. It survives with one HP and does not overtap, gets to the Stone Edge, and that is going to be KOing the Alolan Muck and winning him switch advantage. Kabutops, oh my goodness, that hits so hard. And this should just be a punch coming through from Hypno. It is the fire punch, okay? And he's building up to the two body slams. Looks like he was just short of the two body slams. But since he knows they have fire punch, he may try and catch onto the Kanto Ninetales because they should be receiving the energy for the fire punch after this body slam registers. Oh, and they catch onto the Ninetales. That is absolutely beautiful. Let's see what's in back. Oh, no, it's a Blastoise. Oh, but he does have Solar Beam. Okay, if, if he can get to the Solar Beam, that is going to be his win con. He cannot win without landing this Solar Beam. It's going to be a race here. It's going to be close, and he gets to the Solar Beam. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be one-shotting Blastoise and giving him a win condition. Hypno comes back in and is able to lick down with the Shadow Snorlax. Oh, my goodness. What a close game in game number one. Hopping to the second match, picking up another lead versus an Alolan Muck. And it looks like the Alolan Muck is going to be throwing after four this time. He is going to be shielding it up. And the opponent safe swaps into Hypno. Hypno is a very common safe swap in this cup. However, Shadow Snorlax is a pretty good answer to it. And this is going to be another punch. And this time it is a Thunder Punch, okay? And they're over farming here. Oh, and the opponent gets to another punch. This is not ideal, specifically just because now they're down two shields. Going for the back-to-back -back body slams, and that first one lands. Oh, and the second one, unfortunately, a confusion sneaks through. That's not ideal. And that does take out the Shadow Snorlax. Kanto Ninetales comes in, and it's just going to absorb the Thunder Punch, and they switch into a Gengar. Okay, this is going to be tough. A Shadow Punch doesn't kill, but does a lot. But he does have loaded energy on the Kabutops in the back. So if he can get a shield here with this Weather Ball, then he's going to be able to nuke with the Stone Edge. Oh, and he goes for the combo play. Absolutely beautiful. This is going to be one-shotting the Gengar. Oh my goodness, you absolutely love to see it. And since he did over farm, he's going to be able to outpace the Muck. Farms up just before the Muck has the Dark Pulse and throws the Stone Edge and able to mud shot down, which is perfect. And, oh, beautiful. And is gonna be able to take out the Hypno as well. So Kabutops able to basically sweep, basically able to 1v3 the opposition. An Electrode lead. This is going to be difficult. They're safe swapping out into the Ninetales. Charge move coming through. It's probably going to be the Discharge. He is going to let this go. That is the Discharge. That is a solid chunk of damage. And they're going to swap into their Hypno. Hypno is quite bulky. So unfortunately, these Weather Balls are not something that Hypno really has to worry about. Oh, another Confusion goes through. That is unfortunate. Because now they're probably just going to be able to Confusion all the way down. They do bring in the Snorlax, though. And most Hypnos aren't running Focus Blast. Yeah, it's just going to be the punches. So he's probably in a good position to just take those punches, lick all the way down, and then they should be in a good spot for Kabutops. Let's see what they do have. 
They come back in with the electrode at the double body slam though. This is big because if they can get a shield then Kabutops could be in a position to help close. Oh, and they do an amazing catch onto a Alolan Muk. I didn't even see that switch. Oh, wow, well done. They are able to get the shield though. So this is going to be exceedingly difficult, but not impossible. Dark Pulse coming through. Kabutops is going to want to over farm here, which they do. Nice over farm and they're going for the Stone Edge. That is gonna be enough to take out the Muk. Ooh, this is going to be close. Unfortunately, they may get Volt Switch down here. One Volt Switch comes through, yeah. This is gonna be close, but I don't think they're gonna have enough HP to survive. Ah, oh, and they just get Volt Switch down and that gives them the move to throw against the Shadow Snorlax. So an incredibly close game. Unfortunately, Kabutops really does not like to see electric types in the lead, but fought back and was able to make it close. Kabutops into Sea King. Ooh, Sea King is another Mon that does hit fairly hard, but is also pretty glassy. Going straight for the Stone Edge, this is going to be doing maximum damage. Oh my goodness, okay. Has to watch out for the Drill Run, so they are gonna put up a shield. It is just the Icy Wind, okay. Let's see if he can farm down here. That would be fantastic. And they catch the Drill Run onto Shadow Snorlax. Very well done. Nice job there. Shadow Snorlax can take a hit way better than Kabutops. And they bring out a Nido Queen. Whoa, Spice Alert. Okay, that's cool. I like that. I really like seeing a lot of people running cool and unique Pokemon during this time where there's no Elo. So you can really just experiment and have fun, which is great. Going for the Body Slam. Ooh, the Nido Queen double shields. They're going for the aggressive farm down. But Kabutops is a move loaded and Kabutops wins CMP. Oh no, all that energy goes to waste on Nido Queen. You hate to see it. They have Hypno in the back. Going to be going for the Stone Edge, and then it's probably going to be switching into the Kanto Ninetales. Oh, that Stone Edge does so much. It hits so hard. And of course, Ninetales is a shield, so they can shield up the Shadow Ball, and then able to get to the Weather Ball, and that is going to be more than enough to take out the Hypno and to give them the game. So very well played there. As you can see, Kabutops, especially if you're able to store energy with it, can be very lethal because it looks like it can win a decent amount of CMP ties. All right, Mew on the lead. This could be tough if they have Wild Charge. Going straight for the Stone Edge. Let's see how much this does. Granted, almost everyone shields their Mew. Oh, and they try and catch. Unfortunately, they're not able to do so. Please no Wild Charge. Oh, and it's a Wild Charge that takes them out. That is unfortunate. They come in interesting, so they wanted energy on their Ninetales. Kangaskhan comes in, and they bring out a Muck. This is this is going to be a, a very tough game. I'll, I will be honest. Switch advantage was very important with this back line, and unfortunately, they do not have it. They are going to shield up. The, ooh, they shielded the Sludge Wave. That is big. The opponent should probably just be going straight Dark Pulse here. So, But a very good shield makes the opponent waste energy. Throwing the Body Slam, that is going to be taking them out. Kangaskhan comes back in. Kangaskhan is just going to be going for Power-Up Punches here, so you don't really have to shield this yet because future Power-Up Punches will be doing more. Going for a Body Slam, and this is going to be getting the shield, of course. And this is going to come down to the wire here because the Ninetales is very spammy, but those boosted Mud Slaps are going to be doing so much damage. Okay, and they do have two Weather Balls here. Oh, and they call it. Oh, that is so unfortunate. If he had gone for the beam there, would have won. Now they're gonna have to try and farm down and not able to do so. So very close, as you can see, able to go positive with Kabutops, which is a very cool spice pick and not one I've seen other people using. And as I mentioned, the first set was in Kanto Cup and these next battles are gonna be in the Open Great League, which is something that honestly is probably harder to use Kabutops in because Kabutops is going to have a very difficult time. Well, with Meganium to start, they're gonna need to safe swap out of there into the Ninetales and they're met with a Sableye. Okay, so if I'm trying to read the team comp here, if they have Meganium and a Sableye, there's probably a Steel in back would be my guess. But, so here I would definitely, ooh, especially since they let the first move through, I would try and prioritize going down shields to win Switch because Switch will probably end up being very big in this matchup. Okay, 
charge move coming through. This is probably just gonna be the foul play. Maybe able to farm down here, but they decide not to risk it and go straight for the charge move. Let's see if the opponent does concede switch here. They do. Okay, this is very good. And it's a stun fisk, yes. And they switch back into the Cabo tops to catch the rock slide. Well done there. Baganium's gonna come back in and absolutely wipe the floor with Cabo tops. Double weak unfortunately but since they baited back out the meganium now they'll be able to align altaria with the meganium and they should be in a good spot they can farm all the way down here and then they'll have a ton of energy to throw at the stunfisk you can see they're going for those frenzy plants but that's double resisted that's not going to do anything yeah that's fine keep throwing frenzy plants totally fine <laughs> oh no but this is going to be very, very helpful as now they have a ton of energy to throw at Stunfisk. Going for the first sky attack, going for the second one. They are able to get it low. Stunfisk is gonna have to throw before they do get to the third, which they do. This is gonna be the rock slide and this is going to be difficult. Oh, but they do have loaded energy. I forgot about that. Okay, so if they can just get to another weather ball here, they should be in an okay spot. It's going to be very close. Oh, can't quite get there. So from an absolute hard counter lead, almost able to come back and win it. A very, very close match and very well played. Hopping into the next game here, leading Cabo Tops into Mach... Oh no, this is not any better. <laughs> and now they bring in the Ninetales on the safe swap. The opponent's staying in, so they may not have a good response to Ninetales in the back. On the bright side, Ninetales is incredibly spammy, so as you can see, they're only one away from their second weather ball, and they should be able to get some shields from the opponent. Able to get the second shield, which is great, and now they may actually let this go. I like this call because you can come in with Altaria, and you're probably going to be able to scare away that Machamp and they bring out an Obama Snow. But since he has a shield, he's gonna be able to shield once and go for the sky attack, which is gonna be enough to KO this Shadow Obama Snow. Shadows like Machamp and Obama Snow are exceedingly strong with shields, but without shields, they're really not gonna be able to do much as Altaria takes out an Obama Snow. Oh no, and they have a Venusaur in the back, able to catch onto Kabutops if they caught a Sludge Bomb. Oh my good, oh, that is dirty. What a catch. Unfortunately, Kabutops really had no play against really this whole team, but they were able to use it as a third shield and able to farm down the Machamp. So from a hard counter lead, able to come back and take the win. Oh my goodness. Kabutops into Venusaur. Oh, these leads are brutal. Save swapping into Ninetales. This is probably the Sludge Bomb. They are going to shield it up. Oh, they bait with a Frenzy Plant. Interesting. And now they're going to bring out Stunfisk. But they're at two Weather Balls, so they should be in a good position to, at the very least, get these shields back. Going for back-to-back -back here. That does land, which is fantastic. They're going to shield up the Rock Slide. They're probably close to two, though. Yep. Although, ooh, does this KO? This is probably gonna be close here. Does not KO. Oh, and they're able to farm down. That is massive. Now they have loaded energy and they're gonna be able to throw at Sableye. Unfortunately, Sableye is gonna be able to Shadow Claw down before they get to a second one, but winning switch advantage here is huge. Because now they can bring out the Cabo Tops and now they have Altaria on the Venusaur, which is a significantly better matchup for them. So they were able to get alignment just the way they wanted it. And they throw Frenzy Plant. Okay. Maybe they're trying to leave more farm for Sableye, or maybe it's just a single moved Venusaur. But I mean, these are expert level battles, so I would expect... Uh, maybe they're running double grass nukes. I'm not 100% sure, but in that situation, you definitely do want to go sludge bomb. Foul play lands does not kill. They are going to be able to get the sky attack off. Does get the shield. They're trying to switch. They're able to switch into Cabo Tops and go for the water pulse. And this is going to be enough to take out the Sableye and give them the game. So again, very well played, recognizing that alignment was going to be crucial and flipping switch. All right. And Alolan Ninetales, oh, and it's the Charm variant. This is going to be a tough fight. 
He is double weak to Charm here in that his Altaria doesn't want to see Charm, but also the Kabutops, since it's very frail, gets absolutely just sauced by Charm. They're going to come in with the Kanto Ninetales. Charm's move coming through. They can tank whatever this is. Psy Shock, yeah, not worried. Going for the Weather Ball, and they catch on a Marowak. Very nice play. They're going to... Switch into the Altaria. Unfortunately, the Altaria has now been baited out. So they're actually throwing right away here. And the opponent is going to let that go. Now here, I would probably not shield. And you... Oh, they actually do shield. Interesting. The reason why I wouldn't shield is because you have a Charmer coming back in. And the Charmer is going to prove difficult. They're shielding. Whoa. Okay. They are shielding here. Interesting call, going for the sky attack. And now switches into the Ninetales, and they didn't switch out, so they may be really weak to this Ninetales in the back. We'll have to see. And they have a shift tree, okay. Unfortunately, a Leaf Blade's going to KO from here. This is going to be a very close game. Altaria comes back. Unfortunately, Altaria is going to get outpaced to the foul play, and foul play is probably going to be enough to take it out here. Ooh, very close game. Unfortunately, couldn't quite come back from that tough lead. Kabutops into Defense Deoxys. Okay, so def these counters are really going to hurt, but Kabutops hits hard in return. So we'll see how much the Stone Edge does. Ah, oh, gets a shield. And now they're going to safe swap into the nine tails. Yeah, you have to shield it up because a rock slide would hurt a lot. Another charge move coming through. Oh, they're going to double commit shield. So they're feeling that the opponent may be weak in the back, which they're not. I'll oh, go for the beam. Go for the beam. Oh, they didn't go for the beam. If they if they no shield this, I will be sad. No. <laughs> oh, it hurts. But maybe they think they don't have the beam. Come on, land. Yes! Oh, let's go. We got our beam. Oh, you absolutely love to see it. Lulled the opponent into a false sense of security. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> All right, charge move coming through from the Deoxys. This will probably be the rock slide, which is way more than enough. They can come in with the Altaria, and they switch into the Kabutops. Oh, and they bait out a Shadow Vic. Oh, very well done. Now they're going to be able to farm all the way down. Shadow Vic is not going to be able to get to the Acid Spray. And now they have a charge move ready for Deoxys. And at this point, Deoxys probably just lets this go, which they do. They saw the writing on the wall and conceded the match. We're hopping into the next match here, leading Cabotops into Galarian Stunfist. This is not a great lead, but... Oh, they actually go Rock Slide. Cabotops can tank a Rock Slide. It's going to hurt. I mean, it's Cabotops. Everything hurts but they should be able to get to a Water Pulse, and Water Pulse is going to do a significant amount of damage to this Galarian Stunfisk, and they shield it up. Aw, oh, you hate to see it. And they're actually going to let this go. Very interesting call. So they're basically saying, Kabutops did its job. It got a shield. Now I'm going to rely on my back two Pokemon to close this match. Coming in, and they come in with a Surfetched. Okay. You really don't want to leave any health on this Altaria for the Galarian Stunfish to be able to farm. And as you can see, he's not throwing because he doesn't want to give any additional energy to the Galarian Stunfisk. Oh, couldn't quite farm down. He might actually let this go. Oh, I really like that call. Putting it all on Ninetales and giving Ninetales extra farm instead of giving the opponent some extra farm. Shadow Machamp comes in. This is going to be difficult, but it's not unwinnable. Oh, they catch onto Stunfisk, probably hoping for a Psy Shock, but it's a Weather Ball. If they can farm down here and get to two Weather Balls, then they should be in a good spot to win this game. They shield up the Rock Slide, and they're at two. Okay. And it doesn't look like Machamp has a move, so they should be able to get these off back to back and win this game. Oh, they let the first one through. They're going to have to farm down, and they're able to do so. So very nice read, recognizing that the Kabutops did its job in getting a shield and allowing the back line to close the match. Azumarill lead. This is going to be tough. Those bubbles are hitting for neutral, but I imagine a play rough is going to absolutely flatten Kabutops. 
going straight for the Stone Edge. This will be doing a ton of damage even to a bulky Pokemon like Azumarill. Look at that, wow. <laughs> That does a lot. Ooh, they're shielding up the Kabutops this time. Ah, it is the play rough. And the opponent safe swaps into a Sableye. But Kabutops is absolutely loaded on energy here. They should be able to get the shield back. Oh, and they're staying in. Oh, and this will be doing a ton of damage to Sableye. Let's see if this lands. Oh, my goodness. And they catch on to the Nine Tails. Oh, that was dirty. I love it. Oh, my goodness. Okay. They bring back in Azumarill. And Azumarill's already demonstrated they probably are running Play Rough Ice Beam. So, honestly, Ninetales doesn't really have to shield here. They can just let this go. Yep, and they're running Play Rough Ice Beam. Now they bring out, ooh, they bring out the Shadow Ninetales. Very cool, but Shadow Ninetales is going to have absolutely no play against Altaria. So he can really safely bring in Altaria, and the opponent's not going to be able to do a thing here. I mean, they can go for a Psy Shock, but that's not going to do much. They go for the Psy Shock, see it does nothing, and concede the match. So very well played there, very well played. Kabutops, when it lands, oh my goodness. Oh, Toxicroak, this lead is horrible for this team. Oh, you absolutely hate to see it. They're going to swap into Altaria. Baits out a Dugong, oh no. This is looking rough. Even if this lands, Dugong is so beefy that it can survive it. Like, look at that. Dugong is a monster. <laughs> and that takes Altaria out. Oof. This is going to be an uphill battle for sure. Do they call it? Oh, it was an icy wind bait. Oh, no. I think the wind con may have been calling it here. And they are going to no, bub no bubble it. Oh, they actually do throw a couple bubbles. Okay. Toxicroak comes in and they have loaded energy. Oh, this is so tough. Oh, they went for a sludge bomb. Whoa, okay. Maybe they're... Huh, I would have thought they would... I mean, to be fair, mud bomb is a truly terrible move. So maybe sludge bomb is more efficient in that situation. And they switch into a Skarmory. Unfortunately, Skarmory is going to have energy here. And honestly, the Skarmory can even let this go. Toxicroak is going to be able to finish this match. Oh, they do let it go. Okay. Toxicroak comes back in and they get to the move. And yeah, this will be enough to take them out. And they go for another Sludge Bomb and take it out. So very well played there. Unfortunately, Toxicroak is kind of a core breaker for this team. Kabutops into another Galarian Stunfisk. Okay. As we've seen, if they go Rock Slide, they can take one. However, they're actually building up to an Earthquake this time. So now he's just going to go straight for the Water Pulse. Gets a shield, and they swap into Pelipper. So he's going to counter with Altaria here. And I actually do really like this counter swap because it takes them a while to get to Hurricane. And, oh, and that lands even better. And honestly, let this go because this is probably a bait because they probably want extra health on the Altaria. Oh, they're actually going for back-to-back -back Weather Balls. Interesting. Yeah, that's fine. You can tank that, no problem. And he actually... Oh, I like this play. He's actually letting them get off an extra Weather Ball because he doesn't want any extra farm on his Altaria. Obama Snow comes in and farms down, but he has the alignment that he wants. Brings out the Ninetales. Stunfist comes out. He is going to need to shield this up. Oh, back-to-back -back moves. They are going to let this rock slide through because honestly, they don't really need that much health on this Ninetales to beat an Obama Snow. Going for the Weather Ball that gets the shield and switches back into Kabutops. Gets to the Water Pulse. Let's see if this KOs. I'm super curious. Oh, and it does. Oh, beautiful. Come on, get to the Stone Edge. Okay, shield this up. Hopefully, the Obama Snow isn't at two. Oh no, the Obama Snow's at two. This is going to be an exceedingly close game. However, this Ninetales is not in Ice-type Weather Ball range, so they should be able to survive this and then fire off their Fire-type Weather Ball to win the game. Yep, that's not going to kill, whereas this Fire-type Weather Ball is going to definitely kill the Obama Snow. So very, very well played there, overcoming a, a really meta team with Kabutops. Well done. Mew lead. Okay, we've seen how this played out in Kanto, and this was very tough. Going straight for the Stone Edge. 
And as I mentioned when it first happened, I do expect them to shield and they don't shield again, but this time he's able to switch out and farm down before they're able to throw a move. That was super well executed there. Mew was stunned by the damage and didn't even get the chance to get a move off. Very well played. And Skarmory comes out, and this is a pretty even matchup. Oh, they go for the Brave Bird, and now they're going to switch into their Azumarill. Azumarill may try and bubble down, but with the bubble nerf, that's going to be more difficult than it was previously, and able to get to another Sky Attack. May not have been able to get to that other Sky Attack pre-bubble nerf, but hey, we will take it. Waiting out the clock here and coming in with nine tails. So I, again, probably hard reading that they don't have Hydro Pump. Oh my goodness. He just refuses to live in a world where Azus run Hydro Pump. You absolutely love to see it. Yep, Ice Beam play rough. Wow. <laughs> oh, uh, this guy is braver than I would be. I feel like every time I call it and I'm like, they don't have Hydro Pump, they have Hydro Pump and I'm sad. Kabutops coming in, going for the Stone Edge here and this will probably be GG's, yep. Uh, the opponent realized there was no win con and just chose not to shield. Armory lead here, okay. If he can land a Stone Edge, he'll be in a pretty good spot does go for the stone edge let's see how much this does i'm guessing well over half Ooh, that does a lot and the skarmer is probably going for the brave bird it is resisted but still might ko oh he survives comes in with a swampert oh going for the water pulse swampert's probably going to shield though unfortunately ah swampert does shield and cabotops gets taken out but now he gets to line this up with altaria and if they don't have sludge wave they're going to be in a really tough spot they shield up. Ah, they do have Sludge Wave. Okay, that makes quite a bit of sense. Very nice over farm there. Very nice over farm. Throw in Sky Attack and getting a bunch of free energy. They come out with Stunfisk and he's coming in with Nine Tails. Ooh, shields up the first one. Okay, and that is the Rock Slide. Oh, and they sack onto Skarmory. Beautiful job by the opponent. Nice undercharge there, though. Nice undercharge for sure. And now going for the Weather Ball. This is more than likely going to be getting the shield, which it does. Ooh, he may need to try and catch an Earthquake. Ah, okay. Earthquake, ooh, that hurts. That definitely hurts. But Altaria is very, very healthy. So this match is still looking pretty good. Rock Slide comes through. Going for the Sky Attack, this will not KO. This is going to get it very, very close. Oh, and this is going to be a race. Oh, gets to the Rock Slide. Oh, it's going to be so close if this kills or not. Oh, it just doesn't. And able to Dragon Breath down and take the win. Oh my goodness, I was stressing that last match. <laughs> so all in all, Kabutops, despite being extraordinarily squishy, this trainer was really able to make it work. So a big thank you for submitting those battles. And I'm just checking right now, what rank is Kabutops? It's ranked number 384 in the Grey League. And he was still able to do exceedingly well with it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, definitely hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps out the channel so very much. And a big thank you to our members here on YouTube. The support in the membership program has been absolutely unreal. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.